Okay, today we're cooking a hearty Spanish casserole using corn sausages, which is absolutely great. Our corn sausages, you can get them both in the freezer cabinet and in the chiller, and you can cook them directly from frozen. Okay, to a medium hot pan, I'm just gonna add a little bit of oil, which is gonna help us to brown our corn sausages. Let's get them into the pan. It's gonna take a couple of minutes just to cook off. Get some really nice color on them and then we can add the rest of our ingredients. The corn sausages are great because they're lower in fat than many meat sausages, so they're absolutely ideal for this dish. Okay, we've reached a stage now where our sausages have got a beautiful color on them. We're gonna add our next ingredients. So we've got a couple of onions, just sliced down thinly. Got some mixed peppers, and a clove of garlic. And this is the important part, we want to cook this nice and gently, we want the onions to really go nice and sweet, which is really going to add to the dish. And that's going to take around three to four minutes. The onions are cooked down beautifully, we're going to add our next ingredients. We've got some chilli powder, and we've got some paprika, which adds an amazing colour. We're just going to cook that down very quickly, just to throw off the spices, encourage the flavours to come together. Now we're going to add our apple juice. Alternatively, you can use a nice sherry. Okay, that's been cooking for one to two minutes now, and you can really smell the smokiness of the paprika coming through. I'm just going to add the rest of my ingredients. We've got some sweet corn. We've got a tin of tomatoes. And we've got some lovely cannellini beans, which is going to add a real nice body to the dish. And then I'm just going to top that up with a little bit of stock. See the colours in there are absolutely amazing. We love one pot cooking, it doesn't get any easier. We'll bring that up to a simmer, stick the lid on, let that bubble away for 10 minutes. Lovely. Okay, this should be ready now. Wow, look at that. A little bit of black pepper. Just give that a quick stir. And we're ready to go. I love to serve this up with some really nice fresh crusty bread freshly chopped parsley. Look at those colours, Spanish casserole, a hearty dish for all seasons.